In this video, I'm going to demonstrate for you how you are going to activate this button on the toolbox, which will start and stop flip chart voting functionality. To do this, I am going to start with a prepared slide with a question already on it. And I'm going to use the question master to poke in the correct answer. So what I do is go up to the insert menu and I drag down to question. This opens the question master where you choose a question type. If you are using active votes, you have one option and that is the multiple choice option. And if you have active expressions, you can choose from a variety of other options. I'm going to um, choose multiple choice so that you can learn from the perspective of using a vote or an expression. The next part you need to decide is how many are the, what are the pot potential number of answers, which in this case, there's four answers. And I'm gonna add this question to the current page I'm on. I click on the next button. This is a page that if you have not prepared the slide beforehand, you can choose from one of Prometheum's provided templates, but I've already designed this page, so I will not check this box and I will not choose one of these templates. I click on the next button, and if I had not already written the question, which I have, I would enter the question text here, and I would enter the answers, and if I wanted it there to be a time limit, I could do it as well. I click on the next button. I do want to put in the correct answer, so I'm going to put my check mark in that, in that box, and in this particular question, the answer is disciples, which is C. So I'm gonna put a check mark, mark next to the C option. Then I click next, where I have the opportunity to create a follow-up question to get feedback. That's only available for the expressions and you certainly can skip that, which I'm going to do and I click finish. Now, there's one annoyance that I have currently with Inspire and that is even though I didn't put in a question and answer, it goes in and you can kind of see this generic text in there. Well, that I just wish did not appear. I wish I could just write my question and um, not generate that generic text. So to get rid of that, I need to click on my object browser and these text items end up in the middle layer and it ends up being text 10 down all the way down to, let's see, yep, looks like text two. So what I'm gonna do is select one like text two Hold the shift key down in my keyboard, then hit text 10 because that selects them all at one time in the object browser. Then I can click on this box and I can delete and get rid of that. Um, but I have mastered my end goal here, which is to illuminate the start, stop, the vote button so that I can easily uh, facilitate this question in class.